Okay, so we need to take a second to talk about the concept of energy in relation to atoms. And here, like this is fantastic. Each one of these uh, little dots actually represents, oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was just playing for too long, represents an atom or a molecule. And if you notice, these atoms and molecules, they have kinetic energy. And this is a fact, like what is energy? We're actually going to spend an entire lecture talking about energy because it's so, I'm going to push play again, it's so cool. What is it? It's defined as the ability to do work. And of course, then you have to be like, dude, well, what the hell is work? And then you have to like spend an entire chunk of time talking about <clears throat> force and distance and movement and, but look at these things. Look at how they're all moving. Each one of these little particles has kinetic energy of movement. And we can accept, even if we don't have a super solid like definition of the concept of energy, we can accept that, yeah, we, we have this thing that's moving around and that is energy. Now, let's just write down the fact that all atoms and molecules, and this is wild because that means that everything, my pen is full of atoms and molecules, and all of them have kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is movement. All the atoms and molecules are moving. Like, I'm, I, it's not just a silly, like, rigsism. Seriously, they look like that. No, not like that. Go like that. They all look like that. They're doing that right now. In something that is a solid, the kinetic energy is slightly less. In something that is a gas, like the air you're breathing, the kinetic energy is slightly more. The amount of kinetic energy, oops, oops, that's what I wanted. The amount of kinetic energy in some substance can be measured. You're not going to believe this. Kinetic energy is measured as temperature. What? So when you measure the temperature of something, anything, you're actually measuring the kinetic energy in that substance. You're actually measuring how, like the thermometer actually picks up how hard the molecules or atoms run into the thermometer, and they transfer a little bit of their kinetic energy into the thermometer, and in the process of doing that, heat up the thermometer. Whoa, seriously? So all atoms have this kind of kinetic energy. Now, the more kinetic energy they have, the higher the temperature. The less kinetic energy they have, the lower the temperature. And they never stop. Wouldn't you think that, dude, let's just get them cold enough. In fact, there is a temperature, a theoretical temperature called absolute zero. And absolute zero is this temperature where supposedly all kinetic energy of atoms is zero. It's theoretical. We've never been able to get something cold enough to absolute zero. And it's something like oh, negative 273 degrees Celsius. I think that's what it is. I'm sure I wrote it in the lecture notes somewhere. That's cold. That's like, I mean, zero degrees Celsius is fro frozen water. So that's like, whoa, holy cold. And I just have to tell you a really fast story. Since we've never gotten there, we've gotten like close, like within a degree, but we can't get it cold enough. We can't slow everything down to where it literally, they're not moving anymore. However, there is a critter. Okay, I got to show you a picture of this critter. Oh, it's my little buddy, the water bear. This is a little microscopic critter. I think its scientific name is tardigradus or something like that. And it's found in mosses, and it's microscopic. Like, this is an electron micrograph thing of this little critter. So this is, isn't it cute? 
Look at his little paws. Doesn't it look like a foot? Don't you want to kind of cuddle it until you look at These aren't really paws. These are like claws. And these claws let it hang on to the moss. These things are like rock stars of ever. And scientists in their fantastic, like, creativity have decided, dude, let's see, let's see what happens to a, a water bear if we get it close to absolute zero. And so they do. They freeze the little buddy. And they take it all the way down, like, close to absolute zero. And then heat it back up again, and guess what? He's still alive. What? If you went down to close to absolute zero, even though you aren't at absolute zero, you, like, good luck. you done. Sorry. We'll be, like, waving to you and having your little funeral and crying and stuff because you're not going to be around anymore. But that guy, he can totally get that cold. Nobody can get down to absolute zero, though. And that was the whole point. Don't forget that all molecules and atoms have kinetic energy. They're constantly moving around, running into things, bouncing off of stuff. It's a fundamental concept. Now shall we talk about water? Okay, I guess so.